So my wife and I did a whole lot of research before we moved out to the Black Hawk subdivision in Pflugerville, Texas. But literally, we had no idea what we were getting into. Let's get into the pros and the cons about living in Black Hawk. Like I said, my wife and I did a lot of research before we made the decision to one, move to Pflugerville, and then two, it was where in Pflugerville. And Black Hawk was actually like the obvious choice for us. Uh, we loved it when we first came into the neighborhood. And that kind of takes me to my first pro. Aesthetically, it is gorgeous. The homes here are amazing. There's big ones, there's small ones, medium ones, and they got like stone on three sides. It's it's really, it's really beautiful. As my mother-in-law would call them, they are like really beautiful Texas homes. And in the newer parts of the subdivision, they're really modern looking. Well, we loved that as well as the sidewalks uh, all being in really, really good shape. And they're pretty much throughout the entire community. And then when you add uh, the signage, which looks great, the, the community center, um, the uh, swimming pools, the ponds that you have in different areas of the neighborhood, all of that looks magnificent when you ride through. This takes me to my con. First con is on the outskirts of this neighborhood. It is not aesthetically beautiful, at least to me. So uh, on the outs, the two roads that kind of surround uh, surround the Black Hawk community. One is Hody, I think that's how you say it, and the other one is Row. Those two are like kind of create a ninety degree angle. Uh, they are my main thoroughfare in and out of the community. And I wasn't taking those two roads whenever I was like coming in and out of the community to like check it out. Uh, but those roads lead to and from my house and they are not great. Uh, super, super bumpy and ugly. And then Hody gets a little bit windy as you go around. And then on the outside of those, you will see uh, cow pastures and just tons of land. And it like really reminds you that you are not in the city. You moved to the country. And in some respects, that's great. But I think I, I think I just would have rather been a little bit more mentally prepared for that. So pro, aesthetically beautiful on the inside. Con, not so beautiful on the outside. The next pro is kind of an obvious one, and it's why I guess a lot of people move to the Pflugerville area, period. But proximity to Austin is so great. We lived about an hour outside of Austin before in the Colleen area. Shouts out Colleen. And we there wasn't much to do in Colleen. So we would always come and travel to the Austin area in order to have our date nights and stuff. And that was so exhausting because it took an hour. Well, now our date night is 20 minutes away from the house. And, you know, that might still be a little far for some people. But for us, it's great because we're not like in the hustle and bustle of the city. But we're like a hop, skip and a jump. We're there. We can do our movie night. We can do our dates. We can have our anniversary celebrations, go to really great restaurants and everything that Austin has to offer. But then come back home in like 15 or 20 minutes and then spend the rest of the night in our cozy house. We absolutely love that. The con is that the subdivision itself, in my opinion, is located on the wrong side of the highway. I just wish that it were on the other side. So to access uh, the major shopping area that is here, uh, Stonehill Plaza, which has movie theater, Target, uh, all the restaurants that you can stand, Home Depot, um, all like the big commercial things are out there. It's on the other side of the highway. So in order to access it, you have to cross the highway, which is a big pain in the butt uh, because there's only a couple ways to do it. And so the back road that does not put you on the highway, that ends up being like full of cars. The traffic there is not great. And then on the on the other side, if you actually go out like row and get onto the highway, then you have to turn around. And that little loop area, that can actually get super jammed up as well. So I just wish that we were like located on the other side of the highway. That way access to like those major shopping areas would be a lot smoother, a lot less friction there. And you know, that's it. We're still in a great location. Uh, like there's a convenience store right at the bottom of the street and they're actually gonna build another one uh, on the back of us. But 
I just wish that we were on the other side of the highway. One second, quick heads up. I am a real estate broker and anybody that's moving to the Blackhawk area, if you need a little bit of help finding a home, I'm offering a 20% commission rebate for anybody that's moving into the area. You can use that to help buy down your interest rate or pay your closing cost or go towards your down payment. Uh, we want to make this an amazing community and I want to give back to the people who are coming into this community and get to know you guys a little bit better. So there is an instant 20% rebate for anybody moving into the Blackhawk area. Just shoot me an email mention this video and I got you all right my next pro is one of the big reasons why we moved out here it is because this is a very family oriented community we love that uh, we came here so that our son could grow up in an area that was like full of other kids that were probably like near his age and he could like grow up with friends and have them throughout elementary middle and high school like that's our dream for him and this actually seems like the perfect place for that uh, it seems like a lot of young families come here especially when they're relocating to the austin area uh, they come here with with young children children and it seems like they're, they're ready to plant roots and really like form a community vibe man I love that at my neighbor across the street they my, my son's 13 months old my neighbor across the street is about to have a baby uh, the two neighbors on the back of us just had a joint baby shower for the baby that's due and one that they just had not too long ago and yeah my other neighbor across the street uh, his little girl is about six months so uh, it's it's wonderful to like know that my son will be able to go outside and play with other kids and like they can all grow up together and have a ball and then as you walk or ride through the neighborhood you that's all you see is families walking their kids and or even little kids on their bikes by themselves which i think is fantastic uh by themselves riding and just having a ball if there was like one word i could use to describe this community it would be two words it would be family oriented so that's just awesome so if you are a young family or a family period looking for that kind of family community vibe blackhawks got you covered there that leads me into my next con the daycares that are like in two to five minute driving range like there's even two daycares right here in the community they don't have high ratings and my wife and i we are research people we're gonna we're gonna research anything before we go and spend our money there and all the research we did online told us to not attend those daycares or even some of the daycares that are within like 10 minutes proximity and that was a big issue for us uh, because we did come to this area so that we could find quality child care and it just really sucked that we weren't able to get that as close to home but we did find a great place about 18 minutes away from us which is a little bit of a long drive but like i actually really appreciate them now it's sunrise montessori they're amazing um uh, this is not a paid ad go and check them out if if you have little kids uh, they actually really care for the kids and they're super communicative which was a huge thing for us that we did not know we needed until we were missing it so um yeah that's one of my cons is the daycares in the area aren't that great i'm sad to say but if you've had good experiences with any of them drop it in the comments so other people can know and so we can know so if they're just kind of getting a bad rap online then let us know i would, would love to hear your opinions all right let's hop into my next pro and that is that this community is still growing and that was another reason why we moved out here uh we wanted to kind of get in early on something that could be great in the long run and i think that is this area uh so some of the issues and the headaches that we have now i don't think we'll have later on uh down the down the line five ten years later like um having to even go to austin i don't think we'll have to leave in order to have like great date nights and and quality nightlife and i think like the roads and all that stuff will get ironed out and even being on like the wrong side of the highway there's plans to kind of take this main road row up over the highway and give us easier access and then they're opening up things like around so 
they're even building a small commercial plaza right in the back of the neighborhood which is like literally a five minute walk from my house which i'm super excited about so the fact that it's still growing is a pro for me and it can also be a con because like they're still building houses so if your car is on the outside of your garage you're gonna get dust all over that and i've run over a few nails in my time here as well so just keep that in mind but a big pro for me is that it's still growing and like this place has not reached its zenith and i want to say this uh the subdivision's been around since like 1992 so that's that's amazing my next con is one of those things like i don't know if this happens in other communities and i think it may be because of just like the sheer size of the community but amazon always mixes up the packages like they will drop my package off down the street vice versa and that's not even just amazon like doordash same thing your neighbors get your doordash your neighbors get your amazon packages and your mail and then to kind of touch on the mail thing there was like a series of mailboxes break-ins where somebody was like popping open all the mailboxes in the cluster and grabbing packages and checks uh, that hasn't happened in a while but what the aftermath of that was was people um, could not access their mailbox so they had to go to the post office which is like 20 minutes away from here on the other side of Pflugerville because we're on the outskirts and um, yeah and there was like a crazy line of people who were really just dissatisfied and all they wanted was their mail and it was it was really a big big headache and i think they have that ironed out now but just kind of be mindful like if you're coming into the area nine times out of ten your package is going to end up somewhere else as well as your doordash order i would say just be patient with them get to know your neighbors and that way it's like not a headache to like reach out or go knock on somebody's door or maybe they even come and knock on your door and bring your package i've definitely had that happen and my last two these are kind of like bonus pros and cons here uh one of them the pro is going to be that we have a really responsive hoa and an hoa that actually takes care of the community i, I really like that uh they just built a new playground and instead of like just getting a really cheap one like they put over put a shade over it because texas heat is wild so like that and the community manager like there's one person assigned to this community that manages it and she's super responsive and kind and communicative like all of that really really helps uh i am not a fan of hoas overall but if you're gonna have one, I think the one like we have is actually really, really good, even though I'm not a fan of paying that bill. And speaking of bills, that leads me to my next con, the tax rate. Tax rate here is higher than it is in other places in Pflugerville, so just keep that in mind. I don't have the exact figures uh, in front of me. I think it might be 3.1, whereas other areas are like 2.6. So it's, it's a pretty big jump, and correct me if I'm wrong on those numbers, but I know affordability has been a big issue with housing lately, so just keep that in mind. It's a, tire, a higher tax rate here, and it probably raised our mortgage uh, by, by a fair amount even though i'm not sure uh it probably raised our mortgage by a fair amount but yeah that's uh that's kind of the con about living here and it sucks even more because those roads are still in disarray so you're like man i pay a lot of taxes it, you, you would think that they would have these roads looking spectacular and they're not it, but the roads on the inside of the community are so i mean there's give and take to anything pros and cons to any place i just wanted to give you guys kind of the on ground view of the black hawk subdivision from my perspective if you do live here or have lived here drop your experience in the comments what's your top pro and top con about living in this area give our potential new neighbors some real insight on what it's like to live here and if you need a little bit of help navigating the area i'm more than happy to help out if you need help choosing a builder or which block you might want to move on there's a lot of available inventory right now so there's options just let me know i'm more than happy to help out all right thank you guys i'll see you next time peace